Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number three of the 4th of July tournament master division qualifying round. For our tee shot, we're gonna use an extra mile level nine and a luminary ball, but we're gonna start with a power two ball from the no moving target position. So make sure you start with a power two ball, katana or the like. Don't move your rings until it's time to adjust and then swap over to your luminary, apply uh, max top spin to left spin and then our adjustment is P3 max plus 15% elevation. So that's going to be 6.1 rings for the adjustment. Then we're going to center the ball. We hit perfect. Ball is going to land in the second fairway, bounce over the rough and bunker into the next fairway, and we're going to roll out for a drive distance of 380 yards. For our approach, we're going to use a sniper. First thing that we need to do is establish our aim, which is going to be red ring touching the fairway and yellow ring touching the bunker. Once our aim is set, we're going to apply spin. So the tip of the ball guide is approximately seven squares through the hole. Then we're gonna line up our wind arrow to the 12 o'clock position and use our landing position for the adjustment. So we're at plus 11, which means we're gonna play the approach P3 plus 15% elevation at 56% slider, which is 13.0 rings. Then I'm going to center the ball. We hit perfect. The ball is gonna land in the rough, roll onto the green, and we're gonna just burn the right edge of the cup, about a half a cup outside. So a little bit under adjusted, potentially need more 1201 on our pool angle as well, but definitely very close. Good opportunity for the albatross with just some minor tweaks. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Master Tournament Guides through Golf Class Tommy. Good luck in your qualifying rounds.